Valentine's Day and Elton John. He was fabulous. All in one day, I'm spent. The day after, I'm looking for a little tranquility, and there's no better place to find it than here in the greenhouse at Canner Nursery among all this beautiful foliage. Tonight on Island 30, we'll take the flora inside with a plantscaper and some spectacular Chinese dancing that's coming up. Well, plants like these not only beautiful, as it turns out, they're good for us too, particularly when in an office environment. Now we're going to meet a gal who makes plantscaping her business. We help uh, create ambiences. Joanne Craft is an artist. Her canvas, office spaces. Her tools, plants. Plants are really important. Um, plants will um, help improve uh, indoor air quality. Plants help um, reduce noise, and plants will also help uh, contribute to the thermal control of a building. I will walk into a business and I will um, meet with a potential customer, and I will listen to their you know, wants and needs, and then I will look at uh, the, the area, the space, the size, the temperature, and most importantly, I will use a light meter and I will look at the um, level of light just so I know which plants to propose and which containers to propose. Um, this plant is a very elegant plant and it can handle the, the, the lower light. And then here we've got the Aspidistra elater. That plant can withstand a lot. Joanne has plantscaped hundreds of offices, cruise ships and the Vancouver International Airport. But how will she fare in the Czech newsroom? So Joanne, I know you don't have your light meter or anything, but what are your first impressions of this space? Um, it's, a, it's a large open space, there's definitely noise, mm -hmm. and so where plants could help in this particular space is definitely by absorbing and uh, deflecting uh, sound. And what I would do is I would propose plants um, more on the edges and corners, and that will help uh, with, um, you know, absorbing the sound. So I would probably, you know, put a plant right here. Okay. And it would be great, especially if it's It'd right be beside. Me. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's right beside her workstation. Right. Give right. her a little bit of privacy too from people entering into this area. The average cost of plantscaping your office between one and two hundred dollars. <laughs> we have lots of customers, and we have them in many different service segments. So we've got hospitality customers, we have uh, financial customers, we have retail customers, um, we've got office customers. Um, uh, and it's, it's because people do realize the benefits of having plants indoors. What kind of feedback do you get from people after you've, you've greenified their space? Wow, people, people love it. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of smiles on people's faces after our um, service and installation team has gone in and installed you know, beautiful plants and containers. Just the, having the presence of plants around you and seeing plants um, just helps promote well-being. It actually helps people um, feel better and increases productivity. Relative uh, humidity is between 40 to 60 percent. So when you know you've got an, an office area where you don't have windows open, um, the plants will help through um, evapotranspiration. They will help just increase the humidity and we'll, with that, that will help reduce tension headaches, um, sore eyes, um, sore throats. It just really helps um, combat uh, you know, sick building mm -hmm. syndrome. Mm -hmm. Joanne says you don't need a jungle to make a difference. Check out the website for more information.